Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So last week, we put in this little paver pathway over at mom's house. So if you haven't been following along, I've been sharing a few of the projects that she's doing along with my own garden because she's doing something very different. So her house is very established. These garden beds have been here for, well, the house is a hundred years old, so who knows? Um, but all along the front, they've pretty much filled in with weeds and monkey grass and the same around this tree. So we are reestablishing new boundaries, new beds. You can see everywhere the brick is, this is all going to be garden bed. So we are today going to be installing drip to this entire garden bed. So also last week, mom came over and helped me. We did a lot last week. She helped me put drip um, tubing, drip watering from my faucet with a timer to all of my pots, my window boxes, my stock tank vegetable garden, everything on my porch, all those things I've been hand watering. And that was one system we are using the same components in a completely different way today to run drip from her faucet. Do you have a timer, Mama? I do. It's in the backyard. With a timer all the way through this garden bed. So instead of going individual emitters to specific pots, we are going to be running a large half inch brown drip tube with what? 12 inch emitters, Mom? Yeah. 12 inch emitter holes in a grid formation to this entire new garden bed. Then once she pulls all the monkey grass out, we will connect it in up front. So today we're going to put it all in from the faucet, timer, PSI regulator, filter, um, connector to the half inch poly. We're gonna run it along the house. We are going to come over here. She's already trenched a big PVC pipe underneath the paver pathway we put in. Um, and it's gonna come up Right here, here's the half inch poly that she already put through the PVC pipe. And we are going to lay a grid pattern to this entire side. Because when you are doing a drip installation like this, if you run one long piece of drip, that water pressure has to go Mom lives on a much busier street than me. The water pressure has to go all the way from point A to point B and make it to the end. It's harder to do that than if you lay things out in a grid pattern like a square, and then it can go to both sides, fill in the grid, and keep a steady, even pressure. So we're going to be laying the grid here, connecting it to the faucet. Hopefully this will be easy. But since it's a different application, we are laying drip in a garden bed as opposed to containers, we thought we would show you the difference. Plus, it's just kind of fun to see the, the evolution of the space. So when you were here with us last week when we put this paper path in, um, none of these things were planted. So mom planted some proven winners, truffle pink jumfrina, the same ones like I've interplanted with my box club. Hey, mom, could you not? She also planted a bunch of the Super Tunia Vista bubblegum like I have. Those are also proven winners. So this is a very proven winners pink garden right now. I have some she yellow also mums. has some yellow mums from what, last year? Two from years last ago? Last year. Last year. So these were pots that she had up on her porch. Now she's planted them out in the landscape. She has a homestead okay. verbena that's purple. That's a perennial. She has a couple ferns that she still needs to put in the ground. And then what is this, Mama? Vitek. It's a Vitek. So it's similar to a lilac or a butterfly bush. It's like a but it's got, um, you know, similar kind of blooms and they're purple blooms, but it gets big, like 10 by 8 by 10. So it should take up a big space here when it gets mature but until then she's planting annuals around it to take up that space um and it's a good alternative 
to a lilac down here in the south where lilacs won't grow. So we are going to stop chit-chatting. We are going to start going. Mom reminded me she has a dogwood. We're not sure this dogwood's alive, but we're hoping it is. We had one like that in the backyard, and this year it had flowers and, and, and leaves. It just looked like a dead stick last year. I almost was going to take it out. So we're hoping, and if it doesn't come back next year, then we'll replace it with a different one. All right, give me two seconds to switch the camera, and we will get started. So this is the quarter-inch poly tubing. You can half it. Yeah, quarter inch is small. So you can see here's an emitter hole, here's an emitter hole. It's every 12 inches. So this is very similar to what we used at my garden, except mine was the black half inch poly tubing, which has no emitter holes. So if you just need to run it along the back and then come off with emitters, like kind of you do for containers, um, then you use the black. But for this, this is going to give you even water throughout your entire garden when you want to water a big section. So. How, how are we going to lay it out? Are we going to start? Put it this way and then come down. Go down maybe have three. We're going to have three rows and then connect it on the sides. Should we cut the side pieces first or the long pieces first? Let's do the long pieces first. Let's do the long pieces first. Let's do the long pieces first. Okay, so here, grab that in. Let's pull the back row first. Go to the, the, that one. Okay. And eventually, she's going to come in and clean out this whole garden bed and have more planting space back here. And at that point, we'll tie that into this drip system. That is the nice part about it. A drip system like this is you can just cut it apart, add new couplers in, easily expand or make it smaller depending on what you need. I laid this out. the whole front yard or backyard and she lets all these loops fall out you know the sun just makes it all fall out it's so much easier to so work much with. easier we're much not sure we easier. need this one yet we think this one's going to be for these front beds so we'll probably lay it out to start relaxing once we get this bed done And then once we get it all connected and laid out, we'll use some landscape staples to keep it in place. Yeah. And then once we put the compost and manure on top, you won't even see it. 
I should put it here. I think here. I don't. Think I mean, I'm... I don't think you necessarily need it by the brick. I think. Yeah. You need it in between these bricks. Yeah. I have to put it. <coughs> Elbow here. Probably she's still probably going to plant some smaller stuff up here, yeah. and then uh, if you did watch the paver pathway video, she has she has the whole box right here of what is it? Blocks, pink blocks, which is a steppable plant. Now we were going to get little plugs <coughs> or seeds, but she found a lady on Facebook Marketplace who sold her this whole box for sixty bucks. So she's going to cut it up into smaller plugs and plant it at the intersections. We'll probably do a whole video on that later if you want to watch it. Um, but the advantage of this kind of drip tube is you can just pop a coupler right into this and feed yep. a quarter inch poly tube emitter right to wherever those... I think I'll pop some of that brown. Yep, the phlox needs it right in between these stepping stones so they get water at the same place that these get water. Mom's on the move. I was not planning to film today, so I am very beautiful. It's okay. You don't really need to be beautiful to garden. Yeah, I'm never beautiful to garden. I'm always beautiful. Well, I try not to be beautiful, but I do try to be covered in sunscreen. And then I put some concealer over the sunscreen to keep it in place. Yeah, we'd be able to pop some of this. So this is the quarter inch tubing in between. So this has the drip. Yeah. yeah. So this has drip holes as well. And then snake it in between the steps. Yeah. And that way. Or you can use it. the black tubing, which doesn't have emitter holes, and just go directly to the root of each plant, depending on how many you put in. How many you put in, how much water they need. All yada that. yada yada. But again, we can do that. Plant top top coat with the compost. All right, so I think we need to couple these together. I think I'm going to put and then, it more like this. And then cut and splice another one. <coughs> yeah. Let me put the camera over here to show them how we couple them together. I think I'm going to do it right here. Okay, tell them what you're doing. Okay, this is my tea coupler. That's an elbow coupler. Elbow, not two. <laughs> I'm going to cut it right here, right in between these two emitters. And just straight across. All right, so I cut it in half. And now I'm going to just push it into this coupler, this elbow. And this is, I like these, because you just push it in as far as it'll go. Yeah, they're kind, you have to kind of... Push it in and then snug something down over it. Yeah, I like these. Better. Mom likes these better. I like these much better. I don't have a preference yet. I'm not experienced enough. I, I got these a long time ago when we lived in Colorado. I don't know if they just don't make them or what. I don't know. Anyway, All right. that makes it for a nice corner. corner. And then we can take a landscape staple and just tack it down there. And we're good to go. So now we're going to come and do the next one. And this is just connecting them. And then eventually we will splice right in here and put a T to go straight across. So. But I think this will work better in the long run. It just makes for a neater loop. I guess you would say. Yeah. You don't really need to. Mom and I go back and forth on, is this necessary? Because you can just leave the curve. Okay. Let me put it right here. This is a little too far. This is just right. Okay. I'm going over and over that petunia. Yeah, it'll be okay once we go in and fix it. So. Oh. Oh. Do 
Good, how are you? We're good, we're good. Alright, so now, right in the middle, I think what, right behind the crepe myrtle is where you're going to put a tea? I mean the mom? No, I mean or the crepe myrtle, or the dogwood. Dogwood, yeah. Here, if I can get to it easier, and right, right here. Yeah, that looks good. Looks about right. You need to make sure it goes the right place in the garden bed, but also that you don't cut too close to a meter. I was showing that. So this is the other kind that yeah. you can get. And you just so instead of just snugging it down inside that end, you push it in here, and then you pull these out. Over them. And tighten them up. And tighten them up. That's why I really like the other kind better. They're just, they're just so much easier to put together. But this is what most stores sell. This is what I bought for my yard. Here we go. Get that on there. Get it in there as far as you can get it. And then you kind of twist the sides over it. Yeah. They have, they have threads. They have threads in there to kind of snug it up. I did mine yesterday over by my stock tank garden to go around the grill spot. Mm -hmm. I think I did it right. I went and checked this morning and there wasn't huge leaks where I put all the couplers in, so I think they're fine. That looks good. Alright, so then when we cut another piece to go down the middle, we'll just come connect it right at that T. Yeah. But we're going to go do the other side so that the outside is all all connected before we do the middle. Yeah, mom doesn't like those stickers. They're just too white. Glow with the dirt. So right where mom is is kind of an open spot and she's been trying to decide what to put there. What were you thinking? Uh well I have yellow. Yellow mums. Yellow mums and pink petunias and the pink gomprina. I was thinking maybe like coneflowers, white and purple coneflowers maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, she was thinking maybe coneflowers or daisies or something tall mm -hmm. and something white. Or even maybe. Uh, that preferably blooms all season. One of those knockout roses would look good yeah. in this corner. So if you have any ideas, put them in the comments because... She's still trying to decide. It gets shade and sun. Yes. All right, so we're going to go do the other side. We're getting a lot of shade today because it's cloudy. It is very cloudy. We were afraid it was going to rain. Cloud coverage. All right, let's go to the other side. You ready? Yeah, let me get up. Mom is not a fan of these teas. I bought everything but the teas. I had to go back to the store and buy them. Yep. Going to the store is like a 40 minute round trip. It's 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. So the thing about mom is 10, 20 minutes there at the store. <laughs> if she says something's 10 minutes, it's probably 30. Hey. So when she says it's a 45 minute round trip, it's like an hour and a half. Mom's sense of time is not quite there. Hey, hey. hey, they know. They have been with me many times when we have left this house at the same time and then got into my house to wait for you. And me and the camera just sit there waiting for a while. Hey. Not because it actually takes that long to get there, but because it takes mom that long to get there. Pokemon to catch. Let's be honest. All right, so now we are down. About here. Other end. Yep, that here. looks right. And we are gonna put a a T in to. Did you get me a T? Yep. To complete the circuit, first and foremost. So now it's a big circle or a big square, 
And second of all, to couple into the black tubing that goes through our PVC pipe, which is where the water is coming from. Now, I was thinking it's never good that I might want to put some black tubing on here and bring it over here and then bring it over that way. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just connect it to this first and then later on come back and change it if I want to. That's what's good about it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know exactly how I want to connect it to the T. I'm thinking about it. Well, because she has a few planters over here on the left side. And she's also going to need to bring water to this um the thyme not the thyme the flocks yeah. on this side of the paver path so ideally she needs to put a t right here on this black tube and then run black tubing from here down to the end to run to all those things but do you have black tubing to do that with i got tons of it do you want to do that or do you just want to couple it right into there? I think I'm just going to couple it into here for now. And then... And then worry about it later. Well, it'll just be a little funky. You can cut it. You've got your planter coupled into that, don't you? Yeah, I do. I already have the planter in it. Well, I think you need to get this flox planted before you leave her. It's going to die. Yeah, I know. It's got to get planted ASAP. Something bitcha. Yeah, the tube. The tube bitcha. The tube that I'm trying to tighten. Bitten. So there we go. That's good. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Get a different angle. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. That's the different angle song. All right, so we're going to walk it across. Couple it into the other side. Pull it down there, honey. connecting everything so now we've got it coming out and it comes all the way around and like I said at the beginning instead of having only one direction it can come from that black tubing go both directions and fill all the way in across the entire grid and then from here you know and she's already got this pot set up on drip and it's just got a coupler on the end she can just pop a hole in one side and couple directly into that tubing and this verbena will be automatically getting watered while 
she's gone, while she's here, while she plays poker. Who knows? All right, let's get some landscape staples. You want to put them in now? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, I'm going to go get it. Pretty sure they're up here. I could only find five blue, uh, landscape staples. Landscape staples for now, so I'll have to keep looking for them. She's got a whole pack somewhere. So we'll just do what the corners maybe. And since she put that cardboard down to suppress the weeds for a hold up one second. For a no dig garden bed, which worked really well. So she put cardboard down and then topsoil and then we're doing the water and then we'll do the compost and manure as our top dressing. The, um, the landscape staples have a little bit of a harder time going in than just into ground because they've got to go through that cardboard layer, but it's not impossible. But it makes them stay better. It does, it holds them in place really nice. All right. Maybe do one by that petunia, I don't know. See what you need. Here's three. Not want to go you might have to move. That one might be on a tree root. No. It's, it's just hard. The, uh, cardboard. <laughs> Probably double, triple layer right there. Layer of cardboard in the corner here. Anyway. Once we get more landscape staples, we'll come down and tack it down around the individual plants, but I don't know where that pack went. Go in there, but that's it. That's it. 
All right, you got one staple left, lady. Where do you want it? Think over here. Round the turtle. Round the turtle. Okay. And the ring around, like Betsy did, and, and then, then ran the black tube down through the pot, came out the bottom, right here. And just make sure it's not pinched underneath your urn at the bottom. And now, and then, the in here, punch it in. And now that verbena will be on drip, and that's how you add a container to your garden bed. I don't think you got the hole quite right. I might not have it big enough. There, there that's right. better. So I know as a rookie drip person, I did not realize, which I don't know why, I didn't realize you could couple right in to the poly with the drip emitters i thought you could only couple right into the the black tubing without the drip why i have no clue mom poly is poly all right so now we're gonna go and then i'll probably put some to the tree and to the other tree yeah our, actually i got as i said she's got some like one gallon emitters you can just put an extra one right by the root ball like Laura from Garden Answer said, she puts an extra gallon emitter right next to all of her hydrangeas. Yeah, because they like water. Because they like water so much. Water. Yeah. So anything that needs a little extra water, just pop an emitter in right next to it. But I'm going to go ahead and go over and uh, what? Do the black to the faucet now? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so we are over at the faucet. This is mom's faucet, and you can see that it is really low to the ground. And this is all the monkey grass that she's taking out. But in the meantime, there's no way to connect the timer to the actual hose. So we're gonna have to get a, an elbow that comes down and out, and then this will connect right here like this. But this is our whole set, if you wanna see how it all goes you can watch the other video i'll link it down below where i went into much more detail but essentially this is the backflow filter the psi regulator and the filter filter and this right here is where we're going to connect our black poly tubing so let's get to it y'all so we went to the store and we bought the little elbow and it is all connected so go ahead and turn it on mom and we'll see how it works all right we're gonna hit me i i program there's a lot of cars y'all i programmed it to st come on at six and seven in the morning but you can hit manual and then turn your turn it on whenever you want whenever so we're gonna want. test it and make sure everything's working we're going to hit manual. 
and it's going for 10 minutes. There okay. we go. So we can hear it. That one is going to come out of, this is the upper. So one. this is the one that goes up onto the porch and it waters all the ferns. And then, so this is what we did today. So right now just goes back here. She is still working on this entire flower bed. Oh no, when we went to the store, it looks like some new plants jumped in our car. <laughs> uh, tell them, come over here and tell them what you got, Mom. We got two dogwood trees. For Mom. For sale. So they were. $29.99. And they were 25% off and then 10 more percent off. And then she, she ended up giving them to us for like eleven dollars. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know how that worked out. I don't think she did her math I wasn't right. Complaining. No. And then we got two proven winners. proven winners: Pugster Pinker Budlia, which is butterfly bushes. I had bought a few of these, a different kind, a couple weeks ago for in front of my shed. But these were the ones I wanted. I wanted the pink ones. And they were 35% off. So I got them for $18 each. Now they need they need a little bit of help. And it looks like they have been, I don't know if neglected is the right word, but they need some love. But I mean, they're still beautiful plants and they're huge. Those are what? Four gallon pots is what it said? Three gallons. Three gallons? It said gallons. four on the side. Oh, really? I think the... I don't know what the, the four means. The trees are The trees four. have got to be five. Yeah. Regardless. See what it says. Uh, 2.0 gallon. Okay, so two gallon. I was going off this four, but they don't look like four gallons. No. But you can see, like, down here, there's still and there's lots of growth. And the growth is coming in on this. On all bud. these branches. So they are still very much alive. And once I get them planted and watered, they'll be, they'll be beautiful. Yeah, and how big nice. do they get, Mom? They get to be... I Googled it. Oh, it's on here, honey. I know it is. I was uh, in the car. tall and wide. So they should be really pretty back by the shed. It's a cute little... We should get toy. back to the... Back to the tour. So obviously this is where she's taking out all this monkey grass that was just up here and over many years has right. filled in. But you can see back here, so right back here is where it connects. It goes under the paver pathway in that PVC pipe. And then let's check over here. So, comes out and connects, and it goes all the way through here. Do you want to come see if the drip is working, Mom? I think you put the other side on. The other side is A and this side is B. So I think we're going to have to wait 15 minutes to see if this side works. I'm actually just going to switch it. Say it again. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. I hear it. Yes, you could hear it traveling. So now it has started. You can see it is coming down this oh, way. And it is starting to drip all the way across. See, look right there. You see? Yeah, so, all of this will be... And Mom and I just said we went when we went to get that elbow for the spigot, we forgot to get landscape staples. We were too excited about our trees and bushes that we did not need. We wanted them. Yes, you always need plants. They were such a good price. Are you going to replace your your dogwood stick, or are you going to put those somewhere else? I'm really hoping that dogwood tree will make it. I'm hoping it comes back. I got that dogwood tree from the same place. Yep. All right, here's a title shot. Ta-da! All right, y'all, so we did drip to the whole garden bed. Mom was saying um, before we left for this store that we only had, right there, we only had a smidge left of that 100-foot roll, so. I'm, I'm shocked. This yeah. is a 100-foot garden bed. 
I mean, Apparently. I might have 12 feet left of it. Yeah, not much at all. Yeah. But it is all connected. It is all dripping, which means you no longer have to go out here and manually water all this stuff. Yes, because that's what I've been doing. It's been too much. Because she's had the dogwood and the Vitek planted for over a year. Over a year. So we will keep showing you as we do more projects. I think tomorrow we're going to tackle that box of blocks. Box of blocks. Box of blocks. Blocks in a box. There's no hawks. We don't like hawks. Well, we like hawks. We don't like when they try to take our dogs. Anyways, we're going to go get cleaned up because it is now unofficial Mother's Day. Yes, last weekend was was Grandma's Mother's Grandma's Day. Mother's Day. Grandma like sucked all the weekend. She needed the she whole weekend. She used it all. We had a Mother's Day tea at her um, assisted living, living home for the children, which. There it's are mom and her sisters my, and brothers, five brothers and sisters, and we were we were absolutely in force there. Yes, and then then she went out to an Elvis impersonator show that <laughs> night with a couple Grandma of my loves Elvis other brothers and sisters. They they took her. I I I missed out on that one. Yeah, and then the next day we had a potluck at her house for all the children and the grandchildren. That took all day. Yes. So grandma decided she didn't need one Mother's Day, she needed two, which means mom did not get her Mother's Day. So today was mom's Mother's Day. We did drip and dogwoods. And we're gonna go out to eat. And we're gonna go out to eat. So we need to do a lot of work. Yes, to fix all this. Before we can go to a restaurant. Up. So yes. we're gonna go do that. But we will see y'all tomorrow with our box of flux. That's right, with a box. With a box. Bye y'all. That worked. Neat. That is the worst is when you've done it all and it should be perfect and you turn it on and it's like, nope. When I turned mine on the first time, that spot in the window box just was like gushing water, giant problem. <laughs> I thought it was an emitter hole that was blown out, but when I went, turned off the water and looked at it, when you were originally plumbing the window boxes, you must have had it on the ground for a minute too longer because it was just nibbled on by a little dog. There was little teeth prints all over it. We'll use it for somewhere else. Yep. Now that this one's done, we're gonna we're gonna leave it for about a week or two, make sure there's no problems, and then compost over everything. And then we will tackle this bed. She's still working on the porch. We have an antique booth, so get stuff on the porch. Never ending process.